got a question for you. Do you have a sweet tooth? We're talking in the studio this morning. You know, what's your vice? Did you have that sweet tooth before the pandemic? Sugar addiction is one of the culprits behind pandemic weight gain. Our Nohelani Graf talking with our health insiders about the connection and some solutions to curb it. We've talked about it in the mm -hmm. newsroom. I don't know about you. I love the big box at Target, the ice cream bars with the dark chocolate oh, and the nuts. Oh my god! Because they're 11 yeah. bucks, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. No, if you go to Costco and it's like a vortex for your wallet. And yes. now that we're finding our way back to work, don't you start browsing in the break room. If you've got a vending machine, you suddenly find yourself going towards it more. That's because we've spent the last year of reaching for things like chips and cookies, all to cope with the stress. Also because we've been working from home, so it's just been easier. And we've become addicted to that sugar. And some of us have also seen the other uh, effect of eating all that sugar, right? Now, now we talk about it around the water cooler. Here's what's been happening though medically to your body. That sugar has triggered your dopamine response, that feel good surge. And then our body doesn't process that sugar very well and we start to crave it. Even indirect sugar intake starts to become problematic. Our health insider, Dr. Shad Marvasti says 64% percent of the American diet is processed foods that contain refined sugars, those hidden sugars, and they don't have any fiber, so our bodies don't release it. Unlike when we eat fruit, that fiber helps balance out the sugar. So to help with the weight gain for starters, he says we need to eat more whole foods. You've got to read those labels and look for added sugar. Avoid that stuff, especially in things you might not think like sauces, canned beans. And then he suggests trying intermittent fasting. You can start with 10 hour windows. Also add in more proteins and healthy fats like sunflower seeds, avocado, olive oil. Um, the problem with sugary foods is it's a roller coaster. You get that energy, it goes up, and then you have that crash. But if you're eating more healthy fat, um, you're not going to get that. Healthy fat and protein will kind of give you that, you know, that course that just kind of goes, you know, like this. So something like tuna fish would be fine too. And he says that protein is going to help you stay fuller, longer, curb the cravings. In the meantime, how long is this going to take for it to stick? He says 21 days. If you can kick sugar for three weeks, it'll change your palate and you start to build the habit, guys, which I don't know about you, but when I first guessed how long this was gonna take that I'd have to be sugar free, I was thinking like three, six months, yeah. you know, nightmare status. Three weeks, that's not bad. Anybody can do that in three weeks, right? And as long as we have someone to check in with, you know, we can guilt each other into doing the right thing. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. I know you said, no, he says 21 days, 21 minutes without sugar kind of scared me, so. The, the first days are the hardest. We all know it. We all know it, but light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, well, I'm calling you at 3 a.m. to uh, help <laughs> you me know I'll be pry up. the Sour Patch yeah. Kids out of my hand. No, hey, thank, thank you. Thank you.